Hello everyone, and today is the wedding day of Sage and Danny Lopez. Hello everyone, and today is the day you've been waiting for for three months now. Three months ago today, Danny proposed to his girlfriend Sage and said I do. And today we're here to celebrate them as they become husband and wife. Now, Sage has decided to walk herself down the aisle, unfortunately, because her mother wants to stay with her brother Jackson, and her father is nowhere to be seen. Mrs. What's what last name? Banks. Okay, Mrs. Banks. Did you invite his her, him? I did, and he has no show for my daughter. I'm very disappointed. Well, let's get this wedding on the road. I'm here! Uh, you're late! Molly! Coming! Thank you. All guests, please stand on that side. Oh, well, there's no room, so I'll just stand here. Are you walking down the aisle? No, sadly not. Hi, my name's Molly. I'm his girlfriend. Oh, you disgust me, ex-husband. We don't need to dis discuss this here. Here comes the wedding party! Um, why is the wing bill first? I'm Alexander! Ah! Slow down the music! Sorry, we can't help that. Hi everyone! Sage, now it's your turn. Wait, no, you have to go in first! Um, where's the groom? It's Danny here! Oh, I think I'm ready to go in. Over Danny, sorry Austin. Welcome to the wedding of Danny and Sage Lopez. <laughs> Danny and Sage stand here to to become husband and wife. They have made vows to each other. Danny. Today, Sage, I hold your hand in hoping that you and I can start the rest of our lives together. I know we are young, only 19 in fact, and it's December, but I'm hoping that this can be the start of the rest of our lives together. Because Sage, you mean so much to me and always will mean so much to me. That's why I asked you to marry me and you said yes, and that will forever be one of the happiest days of my life. Besides today, because it's the day we become husband and wife. Danny, I'm very excited to see what the future has in store with us. Because just in over a few months, we will welcome our own, little, our own little child into this world. What? Um, yeah. Sage Banks! Oh, man. What's the deal with this here, huh? Dad, you don't need to yell. I know, but still. You are getting married. Yeah, I am. I mean, no, you're having a baby? Are you kidding me? Oh, dear. I can't believe this. 
Guys, you forgot Cardo outside. Stan! Did you already have a baby and this is your second one? No, that's my... That's Danny's brother, Carter. Oh my goodness. Sage, why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? You know the world I gave you. You can't have children until you're in your 20s. Yes, Dad, but look at you, for example. You're only 40. Yeah, Sage, I had you when I was 21. Okay? And now I may be 41. And your mother had you when she was 19. She's 39. So yes. Maybe. Oh, she's 38, almost 39 or whatever. But still. We were young and I didn't want you to be that next couple that was young. Because this is just what you and my, your mother and I's wedding looked like around 20 years ago. We got married. My mo Your mother was pregnant with you. Dad, this is way too much information. And please, this is my wedding we're talking about. Yes, Sage Banks, but your mother and I were getting married, and she was pregnant with you, and then we ended up divorcing shortly after the wedding. And that, shortly after you came, we divorced. You were three months old when we divorced. So you see, that means relationships don't last. And I don't think this one will last. Dad, it will last. Danny is my true love. Yes, and Sage is my true love. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm serious. He is my love, Dad. Just because you and Mom got married young and then divorced does not mean that will ruin my love life, okay, Dad? Yes, but you being pregnant too, Sage? I do not want you to have a similar... Adult life like I did. Like, what's having to raise a child. I know that, but because of that, I'm not probably going to tell you the gender now. Sage! Tell me! Dad, no, I'm not telling you the gender. Because of that. <sighs> can't believe you! I can't believe you. You just interrupted my vow. Sorry, everyone. Anyways, what I was trying to say before my father rudely interrupted me was that I'm so excited to, and overjoyed to have this baby, and I'm excited to see what the future has in store for us, Danny. <laughs> because I know we're young, but true love does exist. I can't wait to hold your hand at 80. And see our great great grandkids. Or great grandkids. And I can't wait for when we're 40 and have grandkids and stuff. I can't wait for all of those future events. I'd like buying a house together. And moving on our own. And everything. I can't wait for all of this. I know I met you in high school, Danny, in grade 10. But because of that, that's tr that you truly have changed my life forever when I met you in grade 10 at the age of 15 years old. And who thought four years later we'd be getting married? <laughs> I never thought that. No, Sage, because you guys are two years out of high school now. You haven't even been two full years out of high school yet. Because you graduated in 2020 and everything. Yes, Dad. But there are some kids that are getting married that are my age. Yes, Sage, but I don't know. I just can't believe you. Okay, don't get worked up. Ugh. And I'm so excited to see what the year of 2022 has in store for the three of us. Me too. With this ring, I read you, Danny. With this ring, I read you, Sage. But today, and tomorrow, and all of the years to come. Please wear it as a sign of my commitment, and it knows to the entire world that I am your husband, that I am your wife. By the powers invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Danny, you may kiss your sage.
my wife. Let's go. Okay, it's my husband. Let's go. We're going. Molly, wait here. Sage Banks. What, Father? I cannot believe you. Getting married? And having a baby on the way? You know, you were all probably part of the reasons why me and my mother, your mother divorced. We couldn't handle having a baby. Why are you rushing into everything, Sage? Why can't you slow down a little? Enjoy your time with Danny. We've been together since grade 10, Dad. We met in grade 10, and by the end of grade 10, we were together. So you've only been together for like four years now, Sage. Yes. So? So, I don't want this wedding that turned into a disaster. Well, Dad, thanks a lot for yelling at me at my wedding and being mad at me at my wedding. I cannot believe you would treat me that way at my wedding. Well, Sage, I just want what's best for you. Yeah, says you, Dad. You've hardly been in my life this year and last year and the last few years. Guess who's been what taking care of me? My mother. Where have you been? I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> you see? So, you had me in 2002, and then Jackson in 2008. <laughs> like, with my mother? No. Wait, does that mean? Yes, I had Jackson to your mother even after because that year we decided to get back together and try again so we had Jackson and then it failed again. Yeah so it's been almost it's been basically 12 plus years of you not being with me. <laughs> and I'm 19 now so it's been so long since I've had a family together. Yes. Sage Banks. But I honestly just cannot believe you right now. You know what, Dad? Fine. Reception is off. Wait, Sage, why are you calling off the reception? Because I don't want to do it with my dad. Bye. <laughs> Where'd it go, Mr. Banks? You ruined it for her. I hope I don't have to see you for a while. Uh, hey guys, what it reception is off. <laughs> I don't know what just in the supermarket, but still. Sage, what are we supposed to do? I don't know, I don't want to talk to my dad right now. I understand his points, but still. I don't know what to do. Sage Banks running for me in a supermarket. Ooh, you hit the wrong guy. Oh my god, Danny, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Sage, I just want to protect you. Protect me from what? I'm 19 years old, Dad. I can do stuff on my own. I understand, Sage, but still. I just can't believe you right now, Dad. You literally have ruined my wedding. Yes. Like I said, Dad, I don't want to talk to you right now. Come on, Danny, we're going to the mall. The mall? Sage already said it, now he's going to follow us. No, we're going to go somewhere else. I just wanted to make him think we're going to the mall. Let's hide in this cage. What about our reception? We can do the reception another time, okay? I just, I'm really heartbroken and sad right now. Shh, he's coming. Sage, Danny. Sage, Danny. 
Sage! Oh, hello. Yo, what? Excuse me. I have triplets in the cult. Oh my god! Excuse me. Oh, this is a new store. Yes, it is. Welcome to Babyland. How can I help you today? Um, I don't actually need anything, baby. I mean, I do have a grandchild on the way. Oh, congrats. Thank you. I need you to tell me, though, has a red-haired couple come in? Sage and Danny just got married. And so I so I work at Babyland. I'm not a, a people tracker. <sighs> have a nice day. Thank you, I guess. Sage, Danny, where are you? Oh, look, my dad's in the elevator at the top. Sage, Danny, um, oh, they closed this world. Yeah, the world comes out here now. Um, just one in here, I think. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. It's closed. Oh, just go over here. <coughs> Sage, we made outside of our, my old house. Oh, my God, we're in that fall. Hey, so this path leads from here to here. Yeah. Let's knock on the door. Hello? Hello? Please, someone be here. Hello? <sighs> Hold on, I have something in my po in my pocket. What? <gasps> I have a set of my some spare keys I have. I never gave back. Come on, I, I can use it as a unlock. Come on, Sage. Danny, we shouldn't be breaking into this house. I'm not trying to break in, we're just trying to hide. True. Wow, they've changed a lot about this place since we, my family lived here. Yeah, it does look pretty different. Let's not be in the living room, let's, let's step to the bedrooms, because maybe there's something up there. Maybe we should have went to the treehouse. You know, that might be the appropriate place, because that's where we got engaged. I don't know, but I don't think they explored that treehouse yet, so I bet still a lot of our stuff's up there. Because since they moved in in October. Well, let's just go see what this lo house looks like. Okay, well, no, this looks different. Oh my god, they completely remodeled up here. They did, let me see. Wow, you're right, they did do a lot of renovations up here. Like, all of these rooms look different. Anyways, we're not house hunting. Let's go into the treehouse. I see it. I'll put the keys on this desk and write a little note saying, Hello, I am the old owner of this house. So I just had to drop off some keys to see if you're here. So I left them inside so no one would steal them. I'll just write that quickly. Okay. But Sage, we are keeping the treehouse keys just because. Danny, no Sage. We just closed the door one last time. Goodbye, old house. Okay, let's go to the treehouse then. Wow, how, how ironic there. Danny, this is where we got engaged. Yes, let's head inside. And look at that, it looks identical to how we left it. Let's open that window. No, we shouldn't, never mind. They literally have not touched a thing in here. Danny, this is technically our stuff. We could take it back if we want. I know. Should we take the guitar back? Oh no, let's check what's in our box. Look, my snack stash is still here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel wrong being here, Danny. Say you shouldn't. We lived here before. This used to be in my house. I know, but still. I know, we should probably go, but I don't know. We need to figure out something, Danny. I don't know, just leave this open. No, we should, we should close that, I know. Here, Sage, I know this isn't really secure, but look at this. We can take the ladder down. Are you sure, Danny? Yes. I'll go first. Careful, Danny. Yes. Ugh. Okay, you come down. Okay. So you close that door. Just close on your way down. I'll try. I'm destroying the furniture up here. Come on, beautiful bride. I'm getting the latch. <sighs> Perfect. Danny, I dropped my bouquet. It's okay, Sandy. Sand, not Sandy. Sage, let's just climb over. 
Jenny Kills wants the broken part in this bridge. I know, I have to step over it. Jenny, what should we do? I don't know, but look, there's a little ledge right there. Jump down, Sage. Okay. Oh, I'll go. Ah! Ugh. Jenny, you're lucky you're a good climber. Yeah. Jenny, where are we? We're beside the Robinsons' home, actually. I don't know what we should do. What should we do? Um, well, the garage is right there. Let's climb the tree and go back over. Or should we just go over and go out? No, let's, let's just actually hide out over here until we get found. But you see, Sandy, this is why I love you. Our wedding isn't just a traditional wedding now. It's now turned into an adventure wedding. Well, won't this be a story to tell all ch kids when they get here? For kids, but in future kids. Yes, for sure, Danny. We get to tell them how their pregnant mother and you went on an adventure. Uh, excuse me. We went on an adventure in on our wedding. Yeah. It's getting actually really dark now, S Danny. I don't know. Um. Well, I don't know. Let's knock on the wall of this house to see if they'll answer. Okay. I'll stop. La la la. What's all that banging on the wall? <sighs> Go out and around. Guys, there's something banging on the wall. There is? Yeah, like on the outside wall. I'll go check. No one messes with my house. Where? Oh, yeah. Well, where did you come from? Just came to the garage. What are you two doing in my yard? Scram! Um, so it was the way we just kind of are hanging out back here. Okay, well. Go. Where did you come from? Just climb this little thing here. Just go back over, okay? Sorry, there's no way through. Cause we'll just come to my garage. There you go, kids. Bye. Bye. What a coincidence, my mom's car was parked here. My dad's car was parked here. Let's go. Bye.